might do because we don't want this running and filling this up constantly. Um, we need to set up a retriever. Now, we've got to work out what to. Uh, what are we testing for before we pull the retriever out? It needs to be not doing anything. So, we need something to check if there's nothing happening. Um, hmm. How do we check for no activity? Well, I've got no more sides to use. Um, Uh, I might just think about this for a minute, and I'll come back when I've, got no, when I've got an answer. Okay, so I had a thought that... Well, firstly, when you've got a small-scale problem, like how to monitor the uh, activity of one miner, so it's nothing to do with the whole platform, you need to go back to the small-scale model, so that's what I... this is this here. And... I'm thinking that... well, I remember that this thing couldn't keep up with the power usage. It could only send 32 EU per tick to the miner. Any more would blow it up. But the miner would use more than that. So it was constantly out of power, this thing. So I'm thinking, actually, actually, yeah, because I only had the one solar array on it. So I'm thinking with the one solar array, with the miner running, this thing was pretty well empty all the time, or at least only had a little bit in it. Okay, so if, if it's never full while the miner's working, then maybe we can monitor the bat box rather than the miner. So if it fills up, so we know that when it fills up the miner's finished, it's not working anymore. So, capacitor empty, capacitor has energy, space for energy, capacitor is full. Redstone on. Red alloy wire. And away we go. Okay, so that's how we detect whether the miner is not working anymore, this thing is full. It is not using power at all. Okay. So, uh, related to this thing, the same problem, um, bedrock. Just going, I went down before just to look at the, because uh, this, this miner here is actually finished, this goes right to the bottom, it's sitting on bedrock. Um, so, with this sitting on bedrock, see, that's, you may not be able to see that, but uh, there's actually bedrock there, all around here. Um, with that on bedrock, now bedrock can appear at different layers, it doesn't, it's not always the same, it's not one flat plane, so each of the four corners might actually finish at different times. So maybe having a central power system here is not the way to go. We probably don't want to run all four corners on the one thing. Maybe four different bat boxes, each with a, a single LV solar array, like what we've got, we've got down there. Um, or maybe two, and yeah, and then we can have the the sensor on each of the bat boxes, and they can operate independently. So this one's finished. Pull pull out the drill. Mining pipe starts coming up. That one's still going, so leave it alone. And they can they can operate independently. When when they're all finished, we could probably have a, have a detector to show that they're all finished, and all the four bat boxes are full. You know, with an and couple and gates. And um, and then have it set off a thing for the frame motors to move the frame. 
but for the meantime, we'll just worry about this. So, um, I think we need to get rid of this. I think this thing is holding us back, which is a shame because there's a bit of power in there now. But it's gone. So let's get rid of that, and we're going to put a bat box down. And I haven't got any. So okay, so bat box. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. We monitor the power. That way we can handle it remotely. We don't have to worry about sticking a sensor next to the, the actual block. Okay, so bat box can go out there, see? And we won't worry about powering this other line. It'll have its own bat box. And then we'll stick some solar panels or LV solar arrays down <coughs> now I don't know if it will use power quick enough to need two I don't know let's um let's let's try two we'll put two there and then we'll put a sensor here, put down like one of these gates, right there. And if this is capacitor full, then I'll put red sense signal. And then we'll put, uh, what do we want to happen here? We want the drill to come out, so we need a retriever. Uh, we probably want a frame tube here, I guess. Um, how do we want to do this? Let's see. So if we have pneumatic tube here, and then a retriever pulling out. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we'll have a retriever here. Like that, and then we want we're going to need some support frame there, and then we want some. How do we want to do this? So we need, um, this can only pull out a drill, so we have to put a drill there. And then we want, uh, how are we going to do that? So that'll have to be, that's going to go over to here, doesn't it? So we'll have, I guess redstone frame tube because we're gonna have to give it a signal from there. So I'll put frame tube there, and then we'll put. Um, we're gonna need some red, jacketed red alloy stuff. So we'll put him there. And then we're going to need some normal frame tube going to here. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so we'll just we'll just bring this over like this, that'll do. And the bottom one can just be normal pneumatic shape. And that way we can still open the chest. Okay, cool. And it's touching a frame, so that should be okay. Right. So that pulls the drill out. So nothing else. Oh, hang on, hang on. 
Wrong way around. Um, screwdriver. There we go. Right, so let's turn this guy around the other way. Right, because it has to go, the drill has to go up there and out there. But it should only accept the drill. Okay, it doesn't need to colour it. Yeah, that should be okay. Right, so he'll act like a filter. So only a drill will go through there, and only when it gets pinged by the redstone signal. Which should go through that and into here. Now we want to connect that to this. So when this is full like it is, it's going to pull the drill out. We hope so. Um, let's see. I could even just use redstone tube frame, I suppose. But uh, don't know. So hang on. So if we get a bit of support support frame, put them like that, and like that. No, not like that. Okay. So. Uh, we don't want it talking to this retriever because that's getting pinged by somewhere else. That's got this guy here doing it. So let's go. I'm actually curious if this will work if we just use this. This um, redstone tube frame. We're not, we won't be sending anything down the tube, but. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know if that'll. Did that actually work? Is this sort of... No, it didn't work. Okay, so we'll get rid of that bottom one. And we'll put in... Um, one of... These. Like that. Did that work? No? Let's well, lit up. Um, is it around the right way? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, hmm. Just curious. That should definitely work then. Okay, so let's go back to the small scale. And we'll see if we can do the opposite of what we've done before. So this thing pulls drills out of a chest and feeds it into a into a uh, miner. Let's see if we can build another chest over here and another retriever, and we'll try and pull the drill out of the miner and put it in the chest. So this retriever is going to be going the other way. Um, because this is the problem we're having on the platform, is we can't get it back out. So if we go like so, actually, what if we put it over here? Yeah, there, okay. And then we'll put some cube. There and there. Now to stop the drill going straight to the end of the tube, um, we're going to put in a restriction tube. Um, let's see. We don't want those. This is the biggest problem I have with creative mode is my inventory is always maxed out. Mind you, sometimes that happens in survival too. But Alright, so in here we want to drill, drill, alright, one of those, yeah. okay, get rid of those, there we go, and we want to ping this one with a lever, like so, did that work? No, it didn't work. Oh 
he's not happy. Okay. Um, hmm. What if there's a way around that? Holy cow, I got it to work. It works. Hooray! Alright, so what happened there, just so you know, is this thingy here. The retriever. <coughs> For some reason, the retriever in this situation requires electricity to run. Um, the other one, the fabricator one, I don't know why that didn't need it, but this one apparently needs it, so it pulled it out, and then what happened here? And then the and then this thing fed it straight back in again. Hmm, okay, because that's set up to feed a drill in when there's no drill. Now, okay, so the bat box filled up. The system assumed that because the bat box was full, the miner was finished, so it pulled the drill out, put the drill in here, the drill's gone back in the miner again. And now it's going back down again. I, it must use power pulling out the mining pipe, which I guess makes sense. But because of that, yeah, there you go. So it's using power, doing whatever it's doing. What is it doing? Um, let's have a look. It is currently drilling back down through the empty space that it already made because it has a drill. Okay. So how do we work out the difference between it's already drilled it and it's just clearing the pipe? and it's actually finished this I think it's this thing we, we want this not to run all the time we want this only to run if okay so at the moment it's just feeding all the time whenever there's a space for the mining pipe it just shoves it in but we want this to actually know when there's yeah okay so only feed it if this thing, feed mining pipe if this thing is off, and feed a drill if, when? When are we feeding a drill? We're feeding a drill when, uh, on a signal I guess, we're getting this, we click an off button, or an on button rather, and this whole thing will start drilling. So after we've moved it, say we move the platform, so we might move it over there, and then we say yep, I want to start drilling, we click a button and it sends the drill. That's what we want, yeah. Okay. So let's take the drill out of this so he doesn't send it anymore. So the next time it comes out it'll just sit in there. And then the, the pipe will retract. And then we need to get it to send it on a signal. Yeah. I think that's what we want. So that's probably going to require uh, maybe another sorting machine, I guess, because we, we want uh, we want another one to like uh, if it was the same setup here, then we could leave it in this one. But I think the other one we want we want it to run on a redstone pulse rather than just all the time. So let's put in. Another one just there. I'll just sit back here and we'll get him there. There we go. Alright. And this guy will send to the same tube but only on a pulse. Um, yeah. Oops, no, not him. Um, where's my new Mac tube gone? No, it's there. Okay, one there, and we want one there, there, uh, probably tube frame there. And 
You probably need to be a cube frame. I'll connect that to a cube. He can be a cube frame. I'm just gonna make sure that everything is connected to a frame somewhere, because otherwise when we want to move this thing, it won't all move. Um, and then uh, I think this will need to be it'll need to be a frame there somewhere so probably here like that there we go alright now this thing will need to actually run on a pulse so well first we have to get a power that's a good start um, let's give it power uh, how are we going to do that? let's go up and around so I've got some of this stuff so let's go like that 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 and that and it should now fill up with power ok now all of that I think is touching frames around the place looks like it that one is, that one is, that one is um, that one yes that one is and that one is, ok cool so now a pulse, now what pulse are we using? we're using a pulse and on, on off pulse so for the moment we'll just put a lever down and for that we'll need a panel got some panels here somewhere, here they are ok so we'll stick a panel there with a lever like so and then we want uh, some more panels and we'll just run them no, not like that. Like that. Okay, so at the moment I think yeah, there should be a drill in there, okay. So it's pulled it's pulled the drill out because the thing's filled up. Um now I might actually I don't know if two's too much. Maybe maybe it's gonna fill up halfway through a drill, I don't know. So I know one will work because the, the the small scale one was running on one, and now so obviously later on we'll be replacing this lever with some kind of remote thing, maybe wireless redstone or something like that. Um, okay, so that should send only drills. And nothing else. Let's just put all the pipe in there, we don't need that. And we want to drill. And we want to have it in here so that only drills are sent. And only when it receives a pulse, which is that one there, I believe. Okay. And we want that to be black, because if you remember that's what it was in the other um in the other sorting machine because the drill space is the black pipe there okay so when I pulse this thing like that it sends the drill painted it black yes it should go in and this thing should start drilling down and it's losing power Okay, and it'll start feeding pipe. It should start feeding pipe. Oh, maybe it's full actually. It might actually be full. Oh, it is feeding pipe. Okay, good. So the blue, the blue painted stuff there is the uh, the mining pipe going in. That's excellent. That's actually working exactly as I want. Alright, so that's a little self-contained thing now. So with the other four corners, I'll run 
from their own wire from this lever and then we'll be changing the lever I guess for for a, some kind of wireless receiver alright that's good well I'm going to get started copying this I'm going to copy this design over to this corner and then we'll do the same thing over in that corner and that corner and I'll be back when this is done well, we should have a finished setup. Well, I'll finish with the drills anyway, and then we'll start on the frame motors.